and uh, we are on. Wow, this is a jam packed here, this one, Manny. Yes, it's going to be amazing out there. We have Omri Laverne in the red jersey, Sam Bennett in white, Mike Stewart in yellow, and we also have Brahim Idosh. Idush from Morocco in the blue jersey. Brahim from Morocco winning yesterday's trials, and uh, he is on cloud nine right now. Yeah, he'd be stacked, uh, not just taking out the win, but also walking away 2,000 points on the qualifying, um, qualifying tour. Once again, Manny V holding it down with Mark McCarthy from South Africa, bro. How's it? Yeah, it's good to be at... Um, we have seen uh, the swell picking up overnight and uh, blessed with some uh, almost 6 to 10 foot, you'd say, because there are some 6 footers. You know, when we say 6 to 10 foot, but I chair, there's always a 10 foot wave coming. Oh, man. I mean, just uh, you don't want to be on the inside of those things when they come in either. Yeah, they did. Um, they did uh, the start of the next seat. Here we are. How's it, guys? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Once again, Manny V with Mark McCarthy bringing you the live feed here from Scorpion Island just outside of Arica. This is the South Arica Chilean Challenge. And, Mark, your, uh, your take on yesterday's conditions to what we have now. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's day and night, I guess. Uh, we woke up this morning with a bit of a darker, darker feel to it. Yesterday morning I woke up and there was actually blue skies, yeah. which is very rare. It happens, I think, four or five times a year out here in Arica. So, yeah, just the normals out here today with um, you know, gloomy, dark skies and uh, big swell. Kind of eerie feeling, too, in the water. I mean, just around because it's it, it's massive, yeah. shallow waves. Yeah, and look at this. taking off really deep on this one. He's, um, he's going to pitch himself. It's going oh. to come out. <laughs> oh, nice. He's got a nice little wedge. He wants to come out and do a nice little roll. That's, it. That's excellent ride. That's a good score for Mark Stewart. Jeez, that was amazing. Mm. He made it look way too easy. The doctor. Yes. The barrel doctor. <laughs> I actually saw him the other day walking to the beach to get a uh, free surf in before the contest. And it was it was pitch black, and he's walking to the beach from his <laughs> hotel to get his legs warmed up. But uh, Mike Stewart, he means business. Yeah, I know. He's looking super fit. He's serving really well. He's um, just one of the, you know, those guys that's just been training really hard for this event. And this is where he'll do well. With riding like this, you'd, uh, Mike Stewart's got the ability to take, a out, take it out. Yeah, he just uh, stalls, stalls, uh, tries to wait in as long as possible and does exit with a nice roll. Just wait for those uh, scores to drop and we'll give you a little update. So Mike Stewart is a nine-time world champion and here he is um, putting his hat in the ring at, in Arica for the Arica Chilean Challenge. And you know what? He is uh, one of those few riders to be able to hold up that Arica Chilean Challenge trophy as the winner. He did that back in 2009. And look at this. We have Omri oh Lebrun. Oh, my. And sit himself into one of the bigger oh battles this morning. Oh. Just pocketing it, riding it. He's going to look like a little exit chair. Does oh, a nice big roll, roll right oh there. My pulls gosh. it off. That's a Well done, Omri Lebrun. Right back. We've got another ride. Oh, oh Sam Bennett just pulling a little bit straight on that one. It seems like it did close out. Oh, my. Do not want to be... Him oh right now. no! But uh, yeah, we do have scores for lo lo loss of Mark Stewart. It looks like it is a six point four three. Nice little opening wave, but um, Manny, how was that last one of Omari's? Oh my! What uh, what calf injury does he have? That was amazing. Perfectly ridden barrel and comes out with a big roll. I mean, he must have unlocked from the l from the lip and free fell perfectly on the whitewash. Maybe eight ten feet. That was amazing. Yeah, it just uh, it looks like he's showing no injury of that wave. Here he goes. You can see he's just dragging his leg. He doesn't want to slide out. He does this, you know, so easy for him. He's just really good on these little lefts out here, or these big lefts, should I say. Just got that little leg drag, <laughs> trying to get as much tube time as possible. And just draws a perfect line and nice bottom turn for, you know, nice little projected barrel roll. Unreal. And it does seem like uh, we're hearing some scores. 7.6 for Mario Laverne's first wave. We just double check with the scoring system here. Yes, and it is. It comes in at a 7.6 for Mario Levin. Woo! Wow. That's going to put pressure on um, Brahim and Sam Bennett. Shut up the bat. Brahim, um, Brahim's still out there. He hasn't got a wave yet, but he would have first priority, so he can pick off the best ones. Oh, my. Woo! Crazy exchange going down. Jay Barry, thank you for tuning in from Newcastle. Drew Erickson in London. What? Sean... Garrity from DY and Lucas, we know you're watching from the North Coast. Isn't it like midnight out there yet? Nathan, we know you're tuned in. And uh, Durban, South Africa, Michael tuning in as well. So Michael Wittmann. Yes. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we do have the winner downstairs with uh, Alex Leon. Alex, where are you at? Thanks, Manny. I'm down here with that uh, heat winner, Mitch Rawlins. And uh, Mitch, that tended to be a bit slower, that heat, but uh, you managed to pick off a nice right-hander, eh? Pretty solid one. Good pit. Yeah, it was, uh, it was probably in the first uh, couple of seconds of the heat, it just come through. and I didn't see too many rides before I was uh, paddling out, but that just um, hit the reef nice and uh, gave me a good score straight off the bat. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's always good to get that, that first score. Yeah, for sure. And, um, I mean... It was a tough lineup too with uh, Lester and Sasha and that in there, and I think you did well. You've, you know, you got a couple of lefts too. You managed to get the scores that you needed. Yeah, absolutely. It was like it's not only you competing against those guys. It was a tough heat, but because this wave's so good, you, you feel like you're competing against the whole field, trying to get the best um, barrel or the biggest ramp possible. You know, so you, you, it's just a, one of those super competitive comps where you're trying to outdo everyone in the whole event. Yeah, and it looks solid. It looks eight foot out there, maybe a couple of ten footers. Am I correct? Yeah, for sure. There's that heat was slow, but uh, the heat before there was definitely some eight to ten footers. And uh, when the when the tide drops, uh, I think you're going to see it um, form out the back a little bit more. And and you know it, when it, when the tide drops, it really sucks in all the waves energy. Yeah, it's good. Well, uh, you know you can rest now. You've made it into uh, round three, so you can uh, have the day off and uh, watch the wrestling competitors go down. Yeah, I'm going to watch it and maybe get out there and take some photos. Pretty good out there. All right, that's uh, Mitch Rawns winning uh, heat number two there. So back to you, Manny, in the booth. Thank you, Alex. And we saw some wave riding going down right there. Sam Bennett picking off a right-hander. But look at this, this right off the bat. Uh, Omri Laverne once again. Look at this thing shaping up. Oh, nice clean turn right under the lip. Gets a deep pocket right wow, still, still in the in barrel. There. Still and in gets in another out. one. Wow. And he just sneaks out right oh before the shallows. Oh, my. Mike Stewart out the back. Here he goes. Mark Stewart in the barrel. A bit of a foamy, foamy one, but he's in the barrel. Here he is. Just um, twin to disappeared for a second and uh, popped out at uh, right at the end. Good little way for Mark Stewart. But Amari Laverne's oh way my. was just incredible. He ended up past the keyhole. <laughs> almost on the rocks you don't want to be over there that's like the scariest part <laughs> of this entire reef is right where Amory Laverne came out of that barrel that was an incredible ride oh. for him oh my let's take another look talk us through it Amory so Laverne Amory Laverne yeah, he nice little bottom turn set himself into the first little section out of the gringo is the stalling trying to get a maximum barrel time right there he's eyeing the in section now so he doesn't get too deep but he's in there the whole time. Yeah, he goes in deep. He goes in, you know, disappears, comes out again. And that's where it gets really shallow there, man. And um, just got to get out there one. So that calf injury is not holding him back at all today. He's, what um, calf injury? He's going guns. You know, he's, he's on fire. Well, Amari, your 2010 world champion. Here he is trying to put his, uh, his world championship campaign on the line right here. So, whew, Amari Laverne. So we just uh, wait for this. Yeah. It seems like Mark didn't get a 5.33 in the last wave. And yeah, there we just see uh, images of the guys in the, currently in the water. Sam Bennett, Omari Laverne, Mark Stewart, and Brahim. And we did hear a loss of Omari Laverne. There you can see it up on the board, 9.27. And um, well rewarded for a great you know, ridden wave. For Mario Laverne from Rerillian, I loaned. He's got a lot of followers, dude. There's Omri Laverne, and uh, you know, they'll be watching a line you know, routine from wherever they are in the world. So, Brahim is still waiting for that first wave. Yeah, I think uh, you know, Brahim he apparently does have a bit, of a bit of an injury. He's just. And these big waves probably don't help, you know, help his confidence at all, but um, he was the man to beat yesterday, and he showed it that he's got the ability to take out, to take out the trial. So you know he's got, he's got to go up against the world's best today. And um, now let's see, who, let's see, let's see if we, if we can get a wave, and let's see if we can uh, see some of those backflips. So you know, Amari's got a you know dominant lead right now. He's comboing the whole field. He's got a 7.6 <laughs> and a 9.27. Mark Schutz, uh, you know, two waves are 6.43 and a 5.43. So he's got a you know five and a six. Sam Bennett's got a couple of you know small scores, and he'll be looking to still start the seat, you know, start over again. All right, check this out. We do have a little bit of time. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Thank you. 
McCarthy in that ad right there, and uh, mm -hmm. that was a backdoor wave. Yeah, it was a nice little backdoor wave. You know, one 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 of them got pretty much the only one I got the whole season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tough busy out, out there, there, man. It's tough out there. <laughs> All right, as we wait. As the riders wait patiently on the outside, this is heat number three, round number one, currently out in the water. You're seeing uh, Amri Laverne in red, Sam Bennett in white, Mike Stewart in yellow, and Brahim Edouche from Morocco in the blue jersey. So we're still waiting for Brahim to clock in his first wave, and um, everybody else, Amri Laverne, holy mackerel 9.27 on that long deep barrel i mean he came out he pulled in right on the takeoff and w was in barrel the entire time here's a couple of the guys getting ready for their heat coming up jake stone focused yeah he's um you know he's, he's taking a different approach this year uh does jake Stone. he's not um he just wanna, he wants to come out here and have fun and uh, he, you know in the previous years he does put a lot of pressure on him himself to do well because he you know there's a lot of be there's been a lot of talk about jake stone and, uh, you know, he's been one of the up-and-coming up and riders from Australia. So let's see what... Yeah, here we go. He has Brahim yeah. on his first little wave. He's deep on this one. It's going to have a long section. He's going to try to try oh, make this little can long he come out? Um, no. The yeah, wave that, shut down on him. Yeah, it shut down. Almost, had, almost like had two little peaks, and uh, unfortunately he couldn't get through that second one. But maybe that's just what he needed, you know, just to uh, you know, f get a feel of it and get back out there. And it's, it's still early days in this heat. Shaking off the cobwebs right there just uh, to get warmed up. There is 18 minutes remaining, so he has plenty of time to get back out there and uh, wait patiently, wait for a solid wave. Yeah, he can go back out there and get amped. Amari Laverne, he can come out and have a cup of tea. <laughs> he <laughs> he have we ever seen that yet? Have we ever seen nah. somebody say, okay, I'm this <laughs> badass. I've got so many points. You know what? It's uh, 10 minutes to go. I'm going to come in and just watch from the beach. Oh, I'd love to see that. <laughs> and can you imagine if the other riders just came out and just uh, blow them out yeah. of water? If I had to put to anyone that would do it, it probably would be someone like Dave Hubbard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> he would be the smart ass to do that. <laughs> and that's the, the, the wild card. Yeah, he's coming up next in uh, heat number four. Denton, he's uh, he's the wild card. He's he's the wild card for a good reason. Uh, he he did the whole um, uh, I think it is the Chilean circuit, and he did come out on top for it. So that's why he's uh, been rewarded with his wild card and a chance to, you know, compete against the world's best. And he is, you know. And just so we're all on the same page as far as how can you become a wild card? How can you become a uh, a trialist or a you know a seated rider? We're gonna have Terry McKenna coming in here around heat number eight, and he's going to give us the full specs just so we get everything nailed down. So if you want to know how to be a part of this as a bodyboarder, stay tuned to heat number eight. Terry McKenna will give you the lowdown. Oh, I'm glad. I thought you were going to ask me how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we want to make sure we hear it from the horse's mouth. Yeah, so exactly. We'll they wait for Teza. And we see a couple of the waves do coming in there, but the direction of them is not that great. It's very straight today. So you got to pick them wisely. There's only a, you know, a few good waves in, this, in, in the heats. And uh, today, or well, this heat, currently, Amari Laverne has been picking them out you know, perfectly. There's um, Alex Oranga, Oranga from the, the Basque Country. He really made uh, uh, his name stamped on the tour last year when he took, he took the win in the Reunion Island, coming all the way from the trials. Yeah, it was amazing to watch him and uh, you know, just to see the energy and passion and how, how much it meant to him. You know, he was up on the podium crying and he was just... Over himself, it's great to see. You know, oh man, he, yeah. he and he did it with a I think I think a dislocated shoulder, I believe. I mean, yeah. he was out there fully wounded and put everything he had on the line and took out the entire field in Reunion last year. Yeah, it's epic. And, and speaking of Reunion, there's talks that 2013 we may be heading back to Reunion Island and riding one of their most infamous left-hand waves, Saint Lou. Oh wow, that's um that's good news, new news to me. So. Yeah, there's. Uh, it's cool. It's, it'll, be, it'll be a good opportunity for the guys from South Africa to go over because it's pretty close yeah. for them. And a few hours from Johannesburg, you can just pop over to the Island of Reunion. So yeah, good opportunity. What? Uh, how many hours is that from, uh, let's say, jo Joburg? Oh, well, for me, I pretty much have to drive, uh, fly from Durban. It's two, two uh, hour and a half, and then I think it's three and a half hours from Johannesburg, and uh, you, you arrive into the capital. What's the capital again? It's uh, Saint Pierre. No, no, the, the, the um, airport. Uh, uh, oh, if you know what that airport's <laughs> name is. <laughs> we were just there. Pop it in. Uh, we are, anyway, it's like three and a half hours over there, and then um, 
maybe 45 minutes to drive to St. Louis. So not bad at all, considering I did fly 25 hours to get here. Oh, man. <laughs> I heard about your story, and uh, if you want to talk about it, you can. If not, then we'll just, <laughs> nah, <laughs> we'll I'll, just leave, I'll it leave it for the books. Jeff Hubbard getting ready, strapping into his wetsuit. And uh, a couple of people are anticipating this heat, the one that he will be in, which will be heat number four. And uh, if you know Jeff Hubbard, he is a flying wizard. He's coming up in heat number four. Look at this out the back in yeah. blue. Brahim Idush. But I'm just oh going to my! Oh, how did Ryan he pull that? Phone ball. Pull it, pull it, brother. Let's go. Here he goes. Come to the. Oh, I thought he was just going to get wasted onto the shallows of the reef right here. Yeah. But he, lucky for him, he landed back onto the foam ball. So this guy's got a bad tactic. He wants to get a couple of waves. Uh, he's not too, you know, if he gets a good wave, he's not too, he's not going to be too far behind Mark Stewart. Mark Stewart's only got a couple of um, mediocre scores of you know, 6.45 and a 5.43. So um, I think they might be trying to chase him down because if you get into that first and second position, you'd have, you'd be able to skip around and not surf again today. You go straight automatically to round three, where if uh, you do come in that um, third or fourth position, you uh, have to surf again probably and you know surf round two, which is a, an elimination round. That's right. This is called the showdown format. New in 2012. What it is is we are rewarding the riders for doing well in the early rounds and they will progress skipping a round. In this case, round number one, first and second, we'll advance on to round number three. Let's take another look at Brahim's wave. Yeah, Brahim uh, didn't have much of a barrel, so I think he was eyeing out that end section all the time. He went up maybe a little bit too early, but uh, and yeah, you just see he got stuck in the lip then. Um, that foam ball is going to push him out. And yeah, we just didn't get rewarded as much as he probably you know, would have liked. He got a 3.27 that last wave for Brahim Adush. Well, he's uh, definitely going to be a familiar face on the tour, e either in the trials, in the qualifying series, and even here on the Grand Slam series. So get to know Brahim. Look at this. Everybody taking a look. Mike Stewart taking a look, but giving it up to... Young Australian, Sam Bennett. Oh, he just needed to get inside that one. Well, they're going to maybe get an exit move here. Oh, he's in two minds about that wave. And, um, ah. Oh, the, the frustration. The frustration. I don't, you, know, oh. you know what? I think uh, his mom, Margo, is probably doing the same thing, banging on that coffee table, trying to find out what Mother Nature is delivering to Sam Bennett. Hold on to that coffee mug. <laughs> Sam Bennett, you know, he's... He's such a you know awesome guy, and he's, he's he's matured. He's matured so much over the years. I think on the first year I saw him and I met him on tour. I thought he was the biggest brat ever, <laughs> and um, you know he's really matured into a great young youngster and um, great. Uh, he's got a great talent. He's a great talent, and he's got a good future ahead of him. Well, I mean, you can see the frustration right there. He, it's not frustration that uh, on his on his. You know what? I don't know. He's just pissed off at something. Yeah, he's just uh, he's probably you know. Did himself down a bit. There it was it wasn't a bad looking wave. He did. Uh, he had a few opportunities. He, you know, he could have either just scooped straight into the barrel and rode the barrel through and maybe exit with a little roll, or do what he did and bottom turn and uh, hit the lip. But uh, he was in two minds, and he kind of mixed the both. And he mixed them both up, and unfortunately, that won't be one of his uh, top scoring waves, as it uh, did come in as a 2.6 there, as we can see. So just under just under 11 minutes left. It's not over for Sammy. He must just get back out there, refocus, and um, start again. But it does look like we can see there Amari Laverne in a dominating lead with 16.86. Combo in the whole field. Mark Stewart in second, 11.86. Brahim Adush moving to third. He doesn't need much. Oh, he does. Uh, he needs quite a big score to move into uh, second. He's a 8.69. And Sammy Bennett almost a almost a 10. to uh, take that second spot. But uh, yeah, Sam will probably look, be looking at getting you know, another, two, another two scores. Uh, you, know, you, don't really, you don't want to be searching for a 10 out there. We do have uh, Thomas Rigby sitting in the rafters right now waiting to take over. Mark McCarthy, he's going to be coming in for heat number four's commentary. And uh, we appreciate the riders taking the time. We know th they uh, want to stay in the competitor's area and focus, but Here's yeah. another look. Yeah, Sammy, this is, uh, this is live right here. Sammy, get in a nice little wave, exit with a roll. That's better, Sam. You know, you know, lift up the spirits and get back straight out there. And there's Amari Levin on another oh, beast. Look at that. Wow. Right under the pocket. What is he going to do on the exit? Oh. Is he, is, he's going to want to hit it. Nice big roll. Amari Levin. Wow, wow, wee wow. 
And Aubrey on the is back, on a if we can one. see, this is Mike Stewart on oh an absolute my. bum. Wow! Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's yeah. very rare to see Mike Stewart straighten out on a wave. Ugh. If he is straightening out, it's obviously everybody else on the planet would be straightening out <laughs> as well. A, yeah, it's a good reason, and that's um, that's going to be very interesting. That Mark, you know, if Mark got a good score there, it would have put Sam in a bad position. But Sam did get a nice little score. That's going to give him get him into striking range of Mark, and uh, Sam's on a, you know halfway out there right now. And uh, we'll just wait for the last scores of Sam. And Sam, it looks like he's going to have second priority here. This is the highlight of uh, the replay of Sammy just dragging that leg in there, getting as much barrel time as possible, exiting with a nice roll, a little head shake. That's it, Sammy. And there's the replay of Amari's oh, fat one. Look, look at this. Look how wide That's open just breaking that thing. on the reef. So he's, you can't even see him. This is, uh, this is live. This Brahim. is a live view right here, Brahim. Boom! Oh, through the lip. Goes for an invert. Oh, my. Bail that thing. You don't want to end up on the rocks. Brahim. Just, uh, you know, just trying to figure it all out this morning with this new swallow. You know, he, if, he, if Brahim gets knocked out, or he, if, he, if he doesn't come first or second, doesn't mean we won't see him again today. He's, we will see him later on if he doesn't, doesn't progress. It's not the, end, uh, not the end for these riders in this heat. Again, this is the showdown format. Top two riders will skip round number two and go straight to round number three. Third and fourth in this first round will go into round number two. In round number two, they will face off with the rest of the field that ended up in third and fourth in the first round, and that is an elimination round. Top two riders out of round number two will face off in round number three with the first and second place riders from round number one. There he is. In blue, coming up next. <laughs> it's a local wild card. Yes. Denton Correla from Chile. And we do hear some scores. It looks like 6.93 for, for, um, for Sammy Bennett for his last wave, and that's going to really help his oh, course. Because yeah. that seems like it's, it's going to be one of, it's definitely his best wave. He's not, not going to need much now. He only needs a 4.93, just uh, under a 5 to take down uh, Mark's jet. Amari Laverne just... Uh, He's in a commanding lead. He's, He's pretty much put everybody in combination. There. Yeah, I got a 7.67. And uh, he'll be thrown away a 7.6. So, yeah, good score for Amari Laverne. Still combo in the field. Yes, he could come in and grab a cup of tea. He definitely can come in now. <laughs> I'd, I'd walk past uh, Amari's... Um, room this morning and he was doing all kinds of singing. Oh, really? And he was singing so loud and I was like, what? And me and Jared walked past him like, what the hell is going on inside there? And he's just uh, obviously just getting there. There's Adam Morley. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Morley? That's amazing. Nice. I love his comb over. That thing is awesome. <laughs> he doesn't even need a jacket. He's going around ready very <laughs> Well, all the competitors have uh, three masseuses on standby. And uh, I think I might have to partake in that, say I'm in round number four or something. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Manny V here with Mark McCarthy watching Adam Morley getting ready for his heat, which will be coming up. Uh, it's, he comes, Adam Morley getting a massage right now, comes to us from ooh, the trials. He'll be in the main event coming in in heat number. it will be my heat number seven, yep. Uh-oh. My buddy. <laughs> yeah, this that. is the Stolt Enrique Chilling Challenge. Brought to you by BSC. Yes. And right now we have six minutes remaining in heat number three, round number one. And Look at these oh things coming in. Big out the back. Check this out. We oh this is an action. Don't leave. This is a big oh, set. Oh, they're going to get closed out on. Oh, my. Mark Except Schitt's for Mike Stewart. Look I at want this. this. Oh, oh no, no. Again. Look how fast he's going down the line. Decides I'll pull out. <laughs> And this could be a bit of problems for him. Sam Bennett having a look at this one. Doesn't need much of a score. Under five. Let's do the Sammy. What's he going to do? Comes around the section. Yeah, Goes straight off the top. Oh, oh not much shame. there. Oh, no, no. This is going to be a big paddle battle for those two. Awesome. Brian Madouche looking at this. Uh, probably the last wave of the set. Pulls in. Oh, oh no. no. Could wow. not maintain his rail and sneak under that lip, and uh, he almost got obliterated right there by the lip. That was hectic. Tons of ocean power just coming down on Brahim, just narrowly escaping the wrath of Mother Nature. Wow, so um, that was a very interesting little exchange there from Mark Stewart. 
Ibrahim. Just double check how you might. Yeah, Ibrahim is. No, I'm good. <laughs> uh, Jared, here we go. All the South Africans are starting to pop up. Jared Houston, he will be coming up in heat number six. Yeah, Jerry. Pulling a Chilean, uh, a Chilean morning stroll. A lot, yeah. of these, a lot of the Chileans don't like that early morning hour. No, they hate it. It's only because maybe they get to sleep at like 7 or 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They like to stay up late here in Chile and like to roll up to the beach in the 8 or 9 o'clock hour. But uh, a lot more people on the beach compared to uh, what we've seen this early in the morning. For good enough reason, Manny, and uh, this, this is the f round one of um, the Grand Slam series, so this is where all the big dogs go out, and uh, we're going to be seeing some good rides today. And uh, we are, we are going to go through round number one. Mitch Rollins is uh, getting ready, I think, to go out and take photos. As you can see him preparing his water housing, he, uh, he loves being out in the water, whether it's on a <laughs> bodyboard or taking photos, and you can see him preparing, ready to get out there. It looks like there's a little bit of condensation happening on the inside of his port there, and... Uh, uh, using a very, <laughs> a very sandy wool uh, <laughs> piece of material <laughs> to scratch up at the inside of his port, but uh <laughs> Toinsy wouldn't be happy with that. No, I think that's Toinsy's water housing. <laughs> 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 no, nah, just joking. I'm sure uh, he knows what he's doing over there. But look at this out the back, another bomb coming wow. in in this heat. Who's in position? Nobody. Nobody wants to go on this one. Wow, even the cameraman's losing it. He's shaking the ground up uh -huh. on the water's edge right there. It does seem like it's a bit of a longer one, and it's not going to barrel as, uh, you know, as expected. A good, good call for Mario Laverne. He knows how to pick them. So Sammy, he, he needs to get into that position where he can uh, take another wave. There's not too much time left. Just under, just under three minutes left here. And this, uh, this is heat number, heat number three, round number one where we have Sam Bennett, he's in the hot seat. He, he needs a, you know, just a small score of five points, 4.93 to progress to take over Mark Stewart that's currently in second. Once again, if you don't know, number one and number two of this heat, they skip around and go over to number three. Number three and four, they'll have to um, progress to only around number two. So uh, this is the new showdown format. It's, um, you know, really, you really want you to go big, and uh, if you don't go big, you're not going to be. If you do, if you do go big, you're going to get rewarded. And um, Mario Laverne has shown us this this morning. Yeah, Sam, having a look at a small inside one, decided not to go. All right, um, we do have Thomas Rigby here, ready to rock. So if you want to step out and get ready for your heat, which is coming up, we'll get Tom Rigby in here, ready to rock and roll. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Manny. And uh, yeah, any last words before you uh, hand over the mic for the rest of the day? I believe. No, just uh, yeah, I'll be coming up in eight seven with Magna Oliver, Thomas Rigby, and uh, Adam Morley. So say tune. This is going to be an exciting day. Cheers, Manny. We'll see you later. Okay. Cheers. Good luck, brother. All right, Mark McCarthy uh, opening up the hot seat here for Thomas Rigby as he's getting situated here. Currently out in the water, we do have heat number three, Amory Laverne, just holding steady in that first place position with a 6.67 and a 9.27, just dominating, essentially putting everybody else in combination position for that first place spot. Mike Stewart, Sam Bennett, and Brahim are battling it out for that second place spot. First and second will advance on to round number three. Third and fourth will go to round number two. Look at this, out the back in white. It is Sam Bennett, big roll. Throws a spin right there, and uh, looks like he's still on the wave. This could be his last wave as he throws a nice invert at the end of that wave. Oh. That might be the last wave for Sam Bennett. Thomas Rigby, how you doing, brother? Good, Manny. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, holding it down now, Manny V and Thomas Rigby here in the hot seat. So I'm calling everybody out. Your, your thoughts on the conditions out here? Um, pretty sick, I reckon. We've got Blue taking off now. Brahim. Pulling into a nice barrel. Can you get a ramp at the end? Oh, flipping oh, right, on, right the on the rocks. Watch out, buddy. He is not scared of those rocks. He was doing that all day yesterday. Yeah, and that crazy. was Brahim's. Um, but, yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's not, it's not too big, and there's, like, some sick left barrels. You see Mike Stewart scrambling. Can't see it on the screen right now. Oh, the reason why he was scrambling is because Sam Bennett